By killing it, you mean that your dreams are gonna die up there? I'd have to agree. <laughs> What's your band called? Perfection? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your act just gave me a hairball. <laughs> Believe it or not, we don't care about the opinion of... What are you dressed as? All the lost black socks in the world? We actually go by Shadowland. And if you want to see a real act, watch and learn. Roll out the curtain stage, dudes, and prepare to be amazed. chance at winning, we definitely have to step up our game. Way up. Maybe lose the cat ears. And perfection. Maybe circuit beats. I like it. But if we're going to compete with Justin, we need something to take her act to the next level. That has the mark of Devin DeMarc. I think we just found the next level. Come on, Maddie. Show up already. Yeah, Maddie, it's cold out here. You think it's cold now? It's gonna get real chilly if Michaela finds out we're secretly keeping tabs on her. It's only because we're worried about her. It's a good thing you brought those night vision thingies. Oh, yeah. I knew my father's world's number one dad hat would come in handy for something. I made it with an inexpensive infrared camera, some cardboard, glue, and a magnifying glass. And no, I haven't named it yet. I hope Em's instincts are right about her sister. I know how devastated she'd be if she wasn't. You guys see anything? Nothing. It's very hard to see through this thick brush. Agreed. I've been lobbying the parks and recognition to start using more drought-tolerant plants. Maybe with Glenn's annual water usage is downright shameful. Hey! Are you okay? I was. I'll put to a freaking third bush first my Guys! Michaela's gone! She was just there a second ago. If something happened to Michaela and our watch? Yeah. Hey, I barely know her like y'all. She does grow on a gal. Nothing happened to Michaela. How can a person that size eat the entire contents of a walk-in fridge? You might want to hurry things along. Cam members should be done soon. They better hurry. The only things left in the kitchen are some still saltines and a can of beets. <sighs> can I get you anything else? I couldn't eat another bite. I am so full I might have to walk home. <gasps> Is it far? No, no, I live on that farm next to that new Stone Acres place. Must be a big change to have that right next door. Sure is. Constant traffic. Trucks coming and going at all hours. I thought that when the construction ended, it would finish, but nope. <laughs> I just heard from Cam. Mm -hmm. The fertilizer tested negative. There's no way it could have been used to make a bomb. So Farmer Adele was not guilty. You know, maybe I do have room for just one more dish. Coming right up! Oh, she likes beets. Where could they be? We're supposed to be at the Stone's house in half an hour. I have no idea. 
Sorry we're late. It took four rinse and repeats to get the fertilizer smell out of my hair. I like it. Reminds me of home. This was by the front door. I think it's from Mr. Stone. Check it out. Good evening, ladies. In preparation for tonight's dinner at my smart home, I am giving each of you a data watch. Before our dinner, you can download all your likes and dislikes right into his microprocessor. Cool. Then when we come, our data will be interfaced to a smart home. From the moment you walk in, my home will connect wirelessly to your data watch. And with your help, it'll know you better than I do. Your favorite food, music, and how many times you've watched the panda cage cleaning video. <laughs> oh, oh, so so I know. T-H-A-S-D-O-A. I know. 360 degrees of awesomeness. <laughs> Can I please live here? Estoy enamorada. I'm in love. Kayla, there's something I need to tell you about Kyle. Here, if I just show you here on this graph. Good evening, ladies. Hi, watches. So very glad you could join us. I'm Miles. Mr. Stone's valet and curator of his smart home. Meet Mr. Stone's daughter, Julia Stone. Aww. For Miss McAllister, water at room temperature. For Miss Coyle, with a twist of lime. Sparkling for Miss Adams. Lots of ice for Miss Bandwidth. And tap for Miss Evergreen. He's reading our data watches. Show off. <laughs> Oh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, taste testers! Hurry up and drink this while it's still effervescing and in liquid form. Really think she could help us? Duh. Remember her exploding cream puffs from the science fair? She could whip up anything. I'm calling it AG's pink drink. Safety first. Careful. I don't want curiosity to kill the can. Hmm. Tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough and a glass of milk. Pass. I just whiten my teeth. It's a secret recipe passed down from my grandma. She's known as the best culinary chemist in Spain. Culinary chemist? That's a thing? Yes, of course it is. Adri, do you want to help us with a top secret investigation? Secret investigation? You mean like, Mission Impossible? Uh, yeah, like Mission Impossible. Oh, I love those movies! When I was little, I used to watch them all the time. I even told my parents I wanted to work for the Centro Nacional de Inteligencia. It's like the CIA in Spain. Know anything about lifting fingerprints? Hmm. $1.5 million, an exorbitant amount of money by any account for a vacation. But the Prince Xander of Canterbury, known throughout social media as the Trillionaire Prince, is another extreme stunt that has him yet again in the international spotlight. It's totally awesome! As the impending launch looms, the Prince appears ever more carefree about the possible mortal danger. Now's our chance. <sighs> I'm so sorry, I didn't see your petite little feet there. We haven't met. I'm Adrian Adams. Adrian, wanna do lunch sometime? I'm such a foodie. I know all the fanciest places to eat in this town. There's like two, but they're fabulous. again. Can't seem to hold on to my supplies around you. Weird, huh? 
Uh, that's my pen. Uh, you don't want this pen. It got sticky from the sticky ground. But I like sticky things. Sticky glue, sticky notes, sticky rice, sticky tape, sticky sticks. <laughs> uh, so here, take mine. Um, okay. Welcome to the Hab, trainees. Your nine month journey to Mars is complete. And now it's time to actually live and thrive there. The Hab will be your home sweet home during your time on the red planet. On the deck, you'll find your bathroom, your science lab, greenhouse, and work area. I'm totally having a major pilot motor reflex. <laughs> I'm experiencing serious tachypnea. <laughs> Jeez, if you two need a doctor. Oh, come on, Zach. I'm sure you got him too. It's contagious gross. It's goosebumps, Zach. In my case, rapid breathing. This is all so exciting. Hey, I was just playing, but the Zach Meister is used to generating goosebumps and heart palpitations. So where's old Gordon? Don't tell me he's missing our little sleepover tonight. Gordon took responsibility for the incident resulting in the broken airlock glass. He's voluntarily left the program. Uh, ma'am, speaking of the overnight, where are we gonna be sleeping? Your quarters are against the wall. A bit tight, but cozy. Oh, boy. Man, I'm glad I'm not claustrophobic. Oh, boy. I still don't understand why we're doing this. I don't either. I'm mad at Adrian, Adrian's mad at me. End of story. Just keep painting what you're feeling, because here's the deal. Art is more than pretty colors can help you process emotions, even resolve conflicts when you can't find the right words. Okay, paintbrushes down. Looks like we have similar themes at work here. We do? For starters, you both stayed inside the border. Nothing messy. Usually means a need for perfection. Hey, even stick figures have to be precise. Speaking of figures, you both drew more than one. That's my familia. Colorful and grande. Mine too. The two big ones are my older brothers and the little one's me. You both painted at the bottom of the canvas. Usually a sign of insecurity, but I think we can all agree that you two are the poster girls for confidence. <sighs> Not always. My papa is a respected diplomat around the world. My mama is fluent in six languages. And my abuela created Cafe Adams from nothing. Sometimes I wonder if I have what it takes to live up to their standard of excelencia. I can totally relate. Both of my brothers are freakishly accomplished. I'm always trying to do something crazy awesome so I don't live in the ginormous shadows. Sounds exhausting. It is. Sometimes trying to be perfect makes me do local things, like losing it over a fallen souffle and pushing one of my best friends away. And sometimes when I feel like I failed at something, like, letting down my best friend, I kind of get uptight and just walk away. I'm sorry, Bryden. 